If the customer ever says the last guy did it cheaper, what do you say? Well, in this video, we're going to get the answer to that. We're going to be breaking down some infield footage from our door knocking window cleaning buddies. This one, I believe, is from Oliver Lester. They got some really, really great content. In this video, he's going to be face to face with the customer when she presents the rebuttal to him. The last guy did it cheaper after he states his price. And we're going to see how he handles that rebuttal and whether or not he's going to be able to overcome that to ultimately get the sale. But before we get into that, we've teamed up with the window cleaning resource to give away the ultimate window cleaning business starter kit this month to a premium or platinum subscriber of Quote IQ. So if you need help keeping up customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments, check out Quote IQ linked in the comment section and the description of this video. There's less than two weeks left on the giveaway. So if you're interested in taking advantage of it, definitely check out Quote IQ first link in the comment section and the description. But let's go ahead and jump right into this video and break down this footage whenever you see someone on the street stop knocking go talk to them after the mailman we will talk to her hey miss put the weapon down now <laughs> just kidding so if you guys have seen a couple of these videos if you've seen my breakdown you know that they always lead with a rapport builder something to kind of bring down the walls of the person that they're about to try to sell to because what's the first instinct you have when somebody runs up on you on the street you go into defense mode you're like who is this what do they want from me what are they trying to sell me in this case so they always try to lead with a joke keep things light and build rapport with the customer this one was a little bit cringy it was kind of a little bit of an awkward laugh but let's see if he did a good job breaking down her walls have you seen us on 26 the last couple days at all the really handsome young men with gray t-shirts. Yep. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm gonna scrub down all the actual windows. That's the magic question, miss. We obviously scrub down all just, the actual- Just tell me the price. Okay. <laughs> okay so you guys are seeing right here that some of his selling tactics are not working on her i don't know why he did the little lean over and point like we're cleaning all the windows another thing that they try to do is get the customer to follow them basically whoever controls the frame has more power in the negotiation so if he's able to say hey why don't you come over here with me i'm going to show you what exactly we're going to be cleaning on this glass he's then able to kind of control the frame she's the one following he's the one leading in this case though you guys will notice that she didn't move whatsoever she stayed put in her place. He ran all the way up to the windows to show exactly what he was doing. He ran all the way back. And now he's trying to tell her again with the lean over and the point, this is how we clean the windows. And she's like, just go ahead and tell me what the price is. You obviously scrub down all just, the edge. Just tell me the price. Okay. Windows usually 349, but it comes down to 249. You didn't mention gutters. It would be 99 for the outside of the gutters as well. So it would come to 349. Sorry, men and kilts is way cheaper. Sorry, men and kilts are way cheaper. So she wanted to get straight to the point. What is the price? She's not in it for any of the selling tactics. She's not having it. She gets straight to the price and then she realizes that men in kilts, I guess that's who does all of her work, are much cheaper. Let's then see what his rebuttal to this because that's basically the statement. The last guy did it cheaper. Men in quilts are way cheaper than you. We're a better price, so I'd switch. Okay, baby. Yes. We're competing on price. Let's yeah. talk. Okay. We're cheaper than you. Okay. So she says, if you were a better price, I would go with you. So Price is the factor that we're talking about here. One of the biggest things you guys will see when they get rejection, uh, Oliver and his brother, they always go into, is it a price or a value thing? Because either they're going to increase the value on the deal or they're going to lower the price. This customer just came right out and said, it's a price deal. Men in Kilts does it cheaper. And Oliver's like, okay, great. Let's see what we can do. Because he knows exactly what is in between him and closing this deal. And that is price. So if you guys ever struggle with why someone isn't buying anything from you or why someone isn't committing to you, it's either the price is too high or there's not enough perceived value for the price that you're asking for. Can I tell you why that is? Yeah, because they pay their guys really shitty. One yeah. of the reasons, yeah. yeah. You're on the corner. Let's just be frank about the fact that you have a nice garden. It's very great advertisement. Why don't we just do the whole thing for 209? So we're gonna get Oliver's rock bottom price here. This is the price to close the deal now to keep his guys working. He says, hey, look, you got a great garden. You're on a corner lot. We'd love to work here. It's great advertisement for our business. Why don't we just go ahead and say 209? His original offer was 349, meaning he took $140 off of the price. Now you guys can say whatever you want for your business. You know, maybe that's too low for you. All they want to do is they want to keep their guys working the entire day. And if he lands this job, that's one less door that he has to knock. So he knows his rock bottom price in order to make money, pay his guy and keep everybody working. So he hits her at 209. Let's go ahead and see what she comes back with. Yeah, that's a deal. Okay. Yeah. Cool. We'll see you soon, miss. All right. So she says that's a deal. That's all they needed, right? He had to come off $140 off the price. He probably could have came off a little bit less. He probably could have said $249 and she probably still would have bid at it, right? Like coming down $100 and if she didn't bite, he'd say, okay, this is my last price. They have to get at least two no's before they give up on a sale. If you guys have ever seen their videos before they get two no's before they give up. Now, one of the interesting things was whenever she came in and she said, 
Guys with kilts does it much cheaper. His response was, why do you think that is? And she goes, because they pay their guys really shitty. But one of the things you guys can do is, is if a customer ever hits you with the rebuttal of the last guy did it cheaper, you can say, why do you think that is? You're now putting the ball in their court. They are going to get to uh, answer the question. And typically they'll say, he probably wasn't insured. He probably doesn't do a good of a job, but they're the ones answering the question. So if you guys ever get hit with the last guy did it cheaper, flip it around. Why do you think that is? Oh, okay, great. You know, at that point you are competing on price. So it's time to give the customer your lowest price that you feel comfortable doing the job at. That way you're profitable and you can stay busy. So couple things we learned in this, flip it around on the customer. Why do you think that is? And then you know that you're competing on price. So either you lower your price or you're going to have to let the other guys uh, get the deal. But one thing that worked in Oliver's favor in this video was the fact that he was selling face to face. When you can hard close people, it's going to work a lot more in your favor rather than if you're over text message and you don't really have any leverage. It's much easier for somebody to say no to you over text than face to face. So a couple things to keep in mind. If you guys made it this far in the video, comment down below price and I'll hashtag you a real one. But my name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed and until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.